Dozens of tin and tangled electrical wires run from this electrical post to several houses in the Holy Emmanuel era. It's a cluster of wires improperly and illegally connected to the grid, feeding electricity to families in the area. The maze is unbelievable. It's a messy nest of wires running in all directions, engulfing the electrical post. The wires run for yards, held up by bush sticks planted in the swampy ground, and it's dangerous. 37-year-old nationalized Belizean Zonia Gebans has been living in the area since 2005. She recognizes the danger and has asked the residents to remove their wires from her yard. I have a, only one problem we have. I want the people move the wire in my yard in front of my fence. I want the people move this wire from the by canal. If we put the wire by canal, nobody has a problem. But her request has been met with resistance and aggression as shown in this cell phone video. She says the man was armed with a machete threatening her. When rain, when me gun outside, when my babies want to play in the yard, no can. Because lack of wire and the people come to fix the wire and no put it. Only left the wire and he caught it. He left, he left in a fence, right? So I need, please, the people have to understand this problem. Because when me tell the people, please fix the wire for me, for my family, please help. And the people come and cost me, tell me a lot of things. Geban says that the people have trespassed on her leased land, breaking down her zinc fence and leaving active wires on it. She says that her son has been shocked by the electrical wires three times, and she's afraid that it might be fatal the next. Saturday in the morning, my son gonna, gonna buy a food shop, or a shop a bite um, bread. When he come back, he uh, put the, feet, the foot in the water, when he touch the fence, and the current fly, he, he fly hard. So that he, I tell him, what happened, Papa, what happened? And he said, Ma, I touched a fence, and the fence beat me hard. I have been, man, please help me. So I, I no can, I no can understand why these people do that, man. I tell the people, please, please fix the wire, and the people don't want to understand. So. Geban herself is benefiting from an illegal connection from the electrical pole, but says she is willing to pay for a legal connection if only BEL would address the matter as they did in the Antelope Street extension area in 2015. I think a hundred or more wire in this post. It looks scary. Yes. <laughs> Look, uh, you have to uh, check this post. So those wires that we see up there in the lamppost, that connects to a lot of these houses back here? Yes, a lot of houses back there. Um, I think uh, 150 people live uh, in uh, all this area. I fight all this, this side, no have problem. The problem is back there. The people don't want to understand. I don't tire a teller. Please, please, you don't want to understand me. So the, the lamppost is in your yard or outside of your yard? Outside of my yard, front of my house. Okay. So I don't have problem for the post. I have problem for the wire. Lots of wire front of my, front of my fence. In my yard too, I have to take one bus stick for put um, higher the, the wire. Okay. Because the people only left in my yard. You have an illegal, illegal connection as well. Yes, I have to. I need, no, I, I want, I want the BL cone attack for the people. It make, um, it make, um, leave work for the people. You have, uh, you have to understand, he put um, something for them. You don't better. mind paying for a meter? For your, because we know you know the pay light bill. No, I know the pay light bill. I know half money for pay. I have to understand. I mind my family. For me, better no have light, have my babies. Mm -hmm. My babies are more important for me. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.